Hello all. Um, uh, we discussed with uh, Dave and Stephen and Joe uh, how to share some, uh, some feedback on how we are using in STRX and the, the great job that is being done in, in Linaro altogether. Um, and um, I've decided to uh, share with you uh, very quickly a story about how painful it was at the beginning in uh, deploying our Snowball and supporting it with the right software deliverables and how the work uh, done together with Linar and the landing team is, is really paying off. Um, long time ago we had an internal board that was big, expensive, hard to use and uh, with a huge uh, painful legal framework to be fulfilled before giving the board to, to external entities. And the board had uh, an internal uh, software, uh, software track uh, with uh, Linux kernel, with Android builds that was going to, to our tier one customers. Uh, then we introduced the Snowball, uh, also thanks to the good feedback uh, coming from Linaro. So it was a, and it is a low cost, compact board, uh, which uh, hopefully is being used uh, in, the, in, the, in the test farm. Uh, and uh, the initial uh, decision was to port the uh, customer track, the software tree that we are delivering to customers on the Snowball. So we plan for uh, kernel upgrades, for Android upgrades. Uh, and then uh, we started deploying the board into Linaro. So first of all we had, uh, and that was October 2010, we had the first uh, synchronization point where we uh, delivered all the Linux kernel uh, into the, the initial landing team and, and the work being done in Linaro. And we thought that everything was easy and was, was going well. And uh, well, we were wrong because Linaro started working so fast. You have been delivering at an impressive rate. And uh, the internal track was one year later, was still on 2.6.35. And uh, Linaro was already on 3.1, on 3.0, and, and moving to 3.1 on the Snowball. And then Linaro added the Android and Ubuntu LEDs. So what happened is that on the Snowball we had two totally different parallel tracks, and our customers were on, on the Snowball were not happy because the software on the Snowball coming from the Glue community had all the graphics and multimedia acceleration. Fine, great. But the kernel was one year old and uh, it was useless. And then uh, our own assignees working in, uh, in, in Linaro uh, were using the Snowball and were using the latest kernel and all the latest and greatest developments that you have been doing. Uh, but there was no graphics and no multimedia. So nobody was happy and it, it was a big problem. There was a very good thing anyway. The first one that we triggered more thoughts internally. When the internal track had to upgrade from the old 2.635 to the 3.0 kernel last October, so we had to recover one year of uh, non-synchronization, the work was already there. The work was done through the landing team, through Linaro, and was freely available on Snowball. So the internal team of working with tier one customers had it available and it saved them uh, between one and two months. So that, that started really triggering uh, more attention from the internal developers to what we were doing together with you in Linaro. And the second achievement was that we convinced our managers to free the Snowball. So we freed Snowball from this link with the customer internal tree. And, and now Snowball is fully aligned to Linaro. It means that tier one customers who want to work directly with our customer teams for whichever confidentiality or support reason, they use the, the old, big, expensive board with all the expansion connectors that they, they, they love so much. And in Linaro, we use Noble, which is fully aligned to the Linaro innovation track. And this is progressing quickly, fast, and the internal team keeps on looking at the Snowball and the Linaro LEBs as always the next step. And whenever they need to upgrade the internal track, they know that what they need is already there in Linaro. 
is already there on the Snowball and is already tested uh, with a continuous integration and lava. Now, the biggest achievement, the next step has been to merge the Linaro website and the Igloo community. And uh, if you go to the uh, Igloo community to the Android releases, you will see that there is uh, the uh, old uh, gingerbread, which is in a maintenance and is the internal track. And all the ice cream sandwich releases are coming from the LEB. If you go to the download link, you will, you will get the LEB. And it's fully integrated within the, the Igloo community. And on the other side, if you go to Launchpad, you find the Igloo community logo with the Launchpad project with all the backtracking and, uh, and the support. So this is the, the slide I, I love most because it's showing the, the result of the full integration and the, uh, the way we use the work that we are doing together. Uh, I have one minute left and uh, I would like to let you know that not only we are following and uh, eagerly uh, wanting to reuse all the well-known things that you are working on and we are working on together, the UMM, the SCAD-MC, device tree, everything that we are discussing all together these days. There are also a few other topics that we are working on in background uh, and that we hope will, be, will become soon part of the linear activities, hopefully, if, if uh, they are interesting. Um, and uh, they are also a good example of the cooperation that linear is uh, stimulating. Between, between all uh, us uh, who outside of Linaro are uh, strong competitors and inside Linaro we share code and we cooperate. Uh, we're working together with Deepak on the RP message. Uh, I mentioned this explicitly because yesterday in the, uh, in the panel here uh, you were all discussing about RP message and how it can become the standard for all the coprocessors and uh, uh, we are now contributing to RP Message with some additions that uh, we feel uh, will make RP Message uh, fully, fully fitting also our needs so that we drop our internal uh, nomadic multiprocessing framework which is really uh, handcrafted for our uh, previous generation hardware and we move to a standard RP Message. Similarly, there are ongoing activities with ARM and TI in having a common stand driver and uh, the last point is a, a new framework that we, we have just introduced as a request for, for comments and uh, uh, the author will also speak next week at Embedded Linux conference, uh, thanks to Tim, and uh, we hope to collect as much feedback as possible uh, and uh, hopefully we can bring some, uh, some good value in, in saving power consumption in, in the DDR. Um, so if I, if I conclude, uh, we are seeing a, a huge uh, value in, in working with Linaro uh, and uh, we, we believe that what you are doing, what you are delivering is, uh, is uh, helping our customers and uh, we are uh, doing our best to deliver these directly uh, to, uh, to, to our product tree and uh, the OPSCOM that we are putting in place will be the, the killer app. It will really help us uh, boost the, the the use of linear products. Uh, so thank you very much and keep up the good work.